Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Trials. Yes, I have a new phone and I'm playing about with it. But I thought I would have a quick look at these uh, Finn Thompson whiskies that I, uh, I recently picked up. I'll make myself a little bit smaller there. Um, so yeah, I thought the... Let's just punch in. Pow! Look at that. Finn Thompson. 13 year old, inch gower, 58.8%. And that is a... Torres red wine finish. Look at the colour on that. Lovely jubbly. And of course, Blair Athol 9, 59.6. And that's finished. And that's, I don't know if it's finished or matured in a hoggy. It just says hog's head. And that's got a lovely colour on it as well. Um, yeah, both single casks by the look of it. So yeah, let's uh, punch back out. Bam! Look at that. Um, and let's dive straight in. So let's go for the inch gower. And we'll uh, have a little look at this and she will like. So this one for me um, was really interesting last night when I opened it. It was um, it went through this real kind of uh, evolution on the nose. It settled a bit now, but it went through so many... Um, I went through, oh, I'm getting this, oh, I'm getting that, oh, I'm getting this. Settled down a bit now. So definitely getting the red fruits. Um, there's a, a kind of, um, Earthy, tree, barky, mossiness almost going on with this one. Uh, get some nice kind of biscuity notes as well. Something else there. Hmm. But this one was very, very interesting on the nose. Um, especially on the on the neck pour, super interesting. I mean, if you like a an interesting nose, and I do, then um, this one definitely won't disappoint. Now, what I find with uh, what I found with this one on the neck pour as well was. It's unbelievably smooth. Yes, that's right, I said smooth. And the reason that I say it's uh, unbelievably smooth is that you just would not know it is at that big 58.8%. Um, just can't tell. It's so um, not burny cask strength. You know, there's no, um, even on the nose, you know, not getting any alcohol vapors, there's no acetone, anything like that that you, that you sometimes get with um, with cast strength whiskies. It's a little bit older though um, than some, um, than the non age statements, so it's had a chance to kind of chill out. Good legs on the on the glass. One of the things that I did find with this was it's a fairly short finish and a fairly light mouthfeel. So I don't know if that's got something to do with the 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 spirit or or what but um yeah I don't have a lot of experience with inch gower at all so I don't really know much about it um but it does seem to be a fairly uh light spirit comparatively to some of them that I know It's really nice. It's it's not spicy at all. There's a little bit of um, kick from the the ABV at the the back of the the mouth, but apart from that, not peppery. So if you don't like um, peppery malts, and I know some of you guys don't, then um, this would be one for you. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice. It's creamy. There's the the kind of uh, baking sweetness. You know the baking sugars in there.
I don't feel like it's massively over complex. I think for me on this one, it's it's probably more complex on the nose than transpires through onto the palate. But really nice dram. It's got a, it's got a really nice balance. I think there's a nice woodiness there. Um, but it's it's kind of integrated with the the creamy sweet notes and yeah I'd, I'd, I'd call this like a um you know it's got like a sweet oak uh, flavor really really nice leave a little dribble in now and a zeblet apple I had a dram of this as well last night and thought it was like oh you know kind of typical Blair Athol with the um, fresh floral summery kind of vibe that it, that it quite often gives and the kind of you know the, the kind of pollen and um, you know bacon sugars uh, some bacon spice kind of getting a little bit of banana off this one now. Some tropical fruits. But there's definitely like a like a sauna wood going on. Yeah, but it's, it's it was it, it felt like it smelled more vibrant last night than it does just now. I feel like it's kind of I mean, this dram's only been sitting there for five minutes as well. But it feels like it's almost gone flat a little bit. But there's more burn on the nose with this one. Um, a little bit stronger and a little bit younger at nine year old. But yeah, straight away. Oh, it's just that real kind of light, sweet wood, floral notes, everything you'd expect from, from Blair Athol. And again, I would never guess that that's cast strength. I'd never, I'd say obviously above 40 and maybe above 46. But honestly, that's just so easy to drink, dangerously so. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit, um, it's got a little bit more punch and a little bit more um, harshness going down than the um, the Inch Gower does. But still super smooth. Finish is a little bit longer. It's got a little bit more mouthfeel. It's a little bit oilier. A little bit sticky on the lips. And um, yeah, super good as well. So I think I paid £120 for both of these bottles, so £60 each thereabouts, I think one was a little bit more expensive than the other, um, but incredible value for, for 60 quid. you know, you're, you know, because of cash strength, essentially getting a bottle and a half worth of ABV, right, um, so yeah, really, really good, I definitely recommend, and if anybody knows more about Finn Thompson, please comment below, um, I don't really know much about them, so I'd be interested to know your facts and if you've had them before, if you've enjoyed them, what else is good from them. Um, this is just the, the first time I, I saw them on an online shop and thought I would go for it. So, um, alright guys, until next time.